Alright. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm grinning because <laughs> today we're doing something a little different and I'm already just like, oh my god. Um, <laughs> we're having a paint and sip, but not by myself. I'm having a paint and sip. Oh god. I'm having a paint and sip with my friend Sammy. Sammy, come say hi. My dog's on the paint. <laughs> this, you can tell this is totally gonna go well. Yeah. Um, <laughs> we're doing a paint and sip. I don't know what the fuck we're gonna talk about though. Yeah. Oh, I already have a list of paint. Oh, dang. <laughs> Messy. Yeah. yeah. I'm already ready. Oh, God. Um, so, yeah, just tell them about yourself very quickly. Um, so, I'm funny. Uh, my personality is 8 1. I'm a Taurus, so fuck off. Um, <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, <laughs> They them pronouns, I'm black, obviously. Um, I'm from Africa! <laughs> ah! <laughs> yeah, my, my jollof is better than your jollof. Oh, period. Oh. Uh, yeah, so... I don't know what else. <laughs> for all. Oh, it's gonna be messy. <laughs> okay, while well, we talk, and then we'll see, I guess, what we both come up with. Um, also, sorry if you guys hear something in the background, that's the fan. It was way too hot to keep the AC on because then it would have been in the background. So we're leaving the fan on. So if you hear something in the back, that's what it is. Um, but that's for you to put your fan on. Yeah. So basically today we're going to have like a girl talk, Sammy. And we're going to talk about all things like adulting and life. And I'm pretty <laughs> sure it'll probably get messier as we get a little tipsy. But you know, that's okay. How <laughs> yeah, polite do you want Yeah, it's okay. So let's maybe start with getting our paints. And mm -hmm. while we do that, how are you doing today? Um, I'm at like... No, please talk about this. Our sleep schedule. So, oh god. Um, it's a mess. Let me get a knife because I can't open these paints with that one. But keep going, Sammy. Um, so yeah, like sleep schedule is kind of messy. Um, I started a new job and then I started another new job two days after. So now I'm like, I'm making money, but my sleep schedule is kind of weird. But luckily I've been getting, I've been like getting more and more sleep and getting more and more used to it. So it's not too bad. Um, yeah, uh, it's much I was like, see, the funny thing is I don't sleep. <laughs> I kind of just stay up until like 5 a.m. and then sleep for maybe like two hours. A little nap time, and then I'm back at it. Like last night, I don't think uh, I didn't go to sleep. Yeah, I didn't go to sleep until like five, and now here I am. That's where it's like 10 o'clock. So that's pretty much my sleep schedule. Mm -hmm. Oops, oh, excuse me, I'm just get crazy. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> um. So let's also talk about just I guess. So, do you feel comfortable telling them your age? I'm uh, going uh, to be 25. Uh, I am 25. Mm -hmm. um, so, Sammy's like a couple months older than I. Yes. Um, Honestly, I don't mind getting older. Tr truthfully, I don't like being young is, is, is overrated. Um, How do you feel about being 25? Girl, I just feel like I'm still broke. And, <laughs> <laughs> and <laughs> the only thing that happened is I got funnier. So, yeah. yeah. Um, I feel like my grandma right now. We also we should probably tell them before we start how we met. Oh, <laughs> do you want do you know how we like we, ah! we officially introduced ourselves, or do you want me to tell, want to tell how we, how I first saw you? Which, you yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we can talk about. I'll let you tell how you first saw me, and I'll say how we became friends. All right, cool. <laughs> um, so, ah, so yeah. there's this thing called. Uh, so if you're an actor. Um, <laughs> and for who knows for who's in Virginia, uh, especially in like when you're like younger and you're first getting into theater and you start doing theater competitions, there's this one theater competition called um, VTA. So it's a Virginia Theater Association yeah. conference. Disclaimer: That's where we're from. We're from Virginia. Yeah, yeah, you know. Yeah. <laughs> DMV, DMV. Okay. Um, and so that's how I met Sasha. Now, um, how I met Sasha was. <laughs> what are you laughing? She was playing. <laughs> she was playing the egg <laughs> in her music in, in, in her competition yeah. piece. Okay, but well, you gotta get the backstory, okay? Oh, you yeah. can't just say that I played the egg. Okay? Oh, yeah, sorry, sorry, sorry. So, Sasha was in this. So, we. So, I went to a different school. She went to a different school. <laughs> um, that year, I believe we were doing Santa de Bergerac. Mm -hmm. Um, and we got high scores, but you scored high. Your your guys have scored higher. Got the award. Um, yes, you guys take it. You get the award. And um, we we basically basically what happened was 
I saw it twice. So I saw so in the in the twice. Yeah, so I saw it with the original show and I was like, oh my gosh, I've heard this like this like show was like really good. And so I was like, you know what, I wanna go because apparently like the monologues are really good. And so I was like, okay, so I'm gonna go see it. And I'm really happy that you guys did play because yeah. it was a really good it was a really good performance. Do I think that... You guys, it sounds like what it is. I literally was an egg. Yeah. Um, my, um, the actor alongside me was sperm. Yeah, you, you heard me correctly, was sperm. It was good. And the whole premise what? of it was, from what I remember, I was an egg. And I was coming down the fallopian tube, which is dangerous for a pregnancy. And the whole thing was like me being like, no, like, she can't be pregnant because it's dangerous. And then the sperm was like, but you're a great egg. And I was like, I am. And so I fell in love with sperm and then first ended up getting pregnant successfully. So yeah. I had a good premise. It was, like, it was a really good story. Yeah. Um, and So that's how they saw me. Yeah, that's how I saw you. We didn't know each other. And the crazy thing is, like, the, like, um, because I was supposed to be watching like the rest of the other people that placed yeah. in the second round, <laughs> and I was like, yeah, I don't, I don't know. If I'm. <laughs> I, was like, okay, I saw it once. I'm gonna go see it again. And then, and then she was coming out, and I was like, oh my god, you were so good as the egg, and she looked so embarrassed. <laughs> First saw Sasha, and then fast forward to college. That's when we became friends. I was annoying. Yeah. Um, we went to. Can I say what we went to? I mean, I mean, you know, <laughs> we went to Longwood University yep. in um, Fargo, Virginia. Yep. And we were having orientations. Like the whole thing for freshmen was like getting there a weekend early so mm -hmm. that we could get to know each other um, and all that stuff. And I was a little shy bean. I still am. Where I still like to talk to people. I wasn't really trying to talk to people. That's the thing. Let me give a disclaimer. I was not trying to talk to people. <laughs> That's but anyway, first day, Sammy was like, "Hi, I'm Sammy. What's your name? We're gonna be best friends. friends." And I was like, "Oh God." <laughs> so yeah. Um, in a nutshell, they kind of um. Yeah. Worst away in my life. Yeah. And Hi, I'm here now. <laughs> And we were forced to spend time together, um, but then I ended up actually enjoying it, and here we are. Yeah. Um, and then, of course- Oh, we were the only two black people. Oh, black gosh. We don't talk about it. We don't talk about it. We don't talk about it. Yes. Don't ask me to fuck about the degree. Oh, and that's cool. God. Yeah, so like, I had, I had moved to New York, and that's when I went to start going to AMDA, and then they started going to another college um, in Virginia, so like, mm -hmm. we kind of- like physically separated, but like just uh, yeah. in touch mm -hmm. and, and all that stuff. And then fast forward, I'm here now. Yeah, so <laughs> that's how we ended up here. Guys, so sad. One thumb and seven years later. Can I say that on here? I don't think we can say <laughs> that. You need to. I'll, you, need, I'll you need to beat that. <laughs> mm. Oh well. Um. Yeah. Well, so. More on the topic. How are you doing, lunch? Um. <laughs> do, 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 I, do, I, do you want me to give the political answer or do you want me to give the honest answer? No, give answer? us an honest answer. If you're not doing good, say I'm not doing good. Okay, well, the honest answer is that I'm really fed up with life. I'm really tired. I don't understand it. I don't understand a lot of things. Yeah. And maybe that's become 25, but also I'm getting a very weird feeling that like, even though like I'm happy to like, you know, experience life and go through my age, I feel like the more I'm here, the more I'm just like, at people, you know? Yeah. I feel like I've gone through my midlife crisis and it's not even midlife. Yeah. Like, I feel like I'm 50 years old and I've lived 50 yeah. years old. And like, and don't get me wrong, like, you know, like, I don't mind being cordial to people, I don't mind being nice, I don't mind, like, inviting people in my life, mm. but it's just that, like, you know, a lot of people are dumb. <laughs> no, like, on that note, <laughs> I feel like the hardest part about, like, a adulting quote unquote is not yet like yes you have things like paying bills and stuff like okay yes that's fucking oops excuse me <laughs> yes that's stressful but like no one ever prepares you for like the psychological and like social game that you kind of have to play of like like kind of like what they said of like people kind of go in and out your life you know the people you started with when you're like 19 are the people you end up with when you're 21 or like 25 <laughs> so <laughs> 
I feel like no one, you know, That's really team. set this <laughs> up for uh, success there. And then the people that you didn't expect to be there are the ones that are still here. Yeah, like you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I talked about it in my last video, but like I got to travel a bit, mm -hmm. and that kind of helped with my midlife crisis. It was no longer a crisis, but then I feel like I got stuck in that rut of, and I've always felt this way. I think you can probably like, maybe attest to this, especially like in long ago in high school. Oh yeah, there was like, nothing. Yes. There was nothing. But like always like being on the move or like you know mm -hmm. or always wanting to do something else and people not understanding that like you know yeah yeah. Like, and the weird thing is, it's like when you do need and sometimes it, for me in my case it was that like I was like like you know just being a different like of having multiple different intersecting identities is kind of hard so like when you when people are telling you that like you know college is supposed to be like this wonderful experience then you're supposed to like <laughs> no, I was making sure it was recorded <laughs> <laughs> but trying to like experience life and try to be happy and enjoy your education and really like, learn, like enjoy being around people and then they're like yeah no like I'm here for education I can't have fun it's like wait let's go in there mm. mental health <laughs> <laughs> yeah no because it's a toll because a lot of people are like oh no you're not supposed to um, really enjoy the youth? process, your your you? youth, and it's like you're supposed to struggle. And it's like, first of all, but I don't want to struggle. I I know God gives his what his battles his toughest soldiers, but I'm tired. I mean, I, I didn't know I was driving. <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs> like, um. Thanks, Elohim. And I think, and I, we've talked about this, you know, personally, but like, especially growing up in the South, oh. and like with the type of parents that we have, like my dad's a military man, my, your dad. My well, my dad's not. <laughs> Exactly. So, so mixing in those strong factors, like I don't know about you, but like my dad didn't really believe in mental health. Like he was like mental health, what? Well, like, what? That that that's kind of like his response thing. Like, yeah, what? and we're we're from Africa, so it's a yeah. demon. <laughs> oh, <stop! laughs> it's like it's like your sleep it's like your sleep paralysis demon. <laughs> it is knocking on your door. Do you want to pray or do you want to be taken to hell? <laughs> <laughs> but like I hate that because to a certain degree it's like no one ever like I don't want to say no one gets you help but it's like I don't know about you but like I grew up with that mentality of just thinking okay push it aside it's fine and it definitely spilled over into like my adult life yeah. you know what I mean like and I didn't realize it did until maybe like last year but like it did mm -hmm. in some degree where a lot of times when I was trying to deal with things it was more so like I'm fine I'm fine I'm fine I'm fine I'm fine I'm fine I'm fine, I'm fine. I'm fine. until I'm not you know so how did you um, not Polo's sign. Polo said I'm sick of it. I'm sick. I don't know if you guys can see Polo in the frame, but he's like eyeballing me and he's just sighing. He's like, same. Mm -hmm. Same. Polo. He's like, okay, I see you. My dog is just old. It's it's a thing. No, yeah, but um for me really like it I like yeah, it is about mental health, but also it's just about like for me, it's always been getting people who un who don't who need to understand mm -hmm. like why you have certain countries. Like people don't even like that's the worst part. I feel like people need need to understand but need to lose respect. Well, you know? I mean, so here's the thing. I think respect is one of those like very loose canons. Oh, it words. is. Some people don't even believe in it, but that's a different conversation. Mm -hmm. I don't like because the thing is like I don't respect a Nazi, but I understand why they feel. Why they feel scared for some for whatever reason is because they like they don't know anything else. Different perspective. Different perspective. Is it wrong? Most definitely. Um, jump that bitch. Um, disclaimer. Disclaimer. <laughs> disclaimer. Jump her. Sorry, yeah. Disclaimer. Not sorry. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. Um, but like you know, it's like you don't understand, or you, you don't understand why I'm scared about things or why I need. Or like I'm what my issue is and then a lot of people are like, Well, I think you're overreacting. Yeah. It's like, no, I'm not overreacting and then the thing that I feared to happen happens to yeah. either me or them and then they're like, yeah. Oh, wow, I like it sucks that like you said this and it came to fruition and then they yeah. kinda of blame you and you're like why are you blaming me? I no, try like No, like I will say like that's one thing at least that like I appreciate about our friendship at least is that through the course of time whenever there's a moment where I'm not understanding them or they don't understand me, instead of being like, Oh well it's just da 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 
or it's just mm, or just assuming or making up a pre you know a pre notion yeah. of what we think it should be or how the other person should feel instead we just kind of be like okay well why do you feel that way yeah and you know and then we just talk about it and then it's kind of okay yeah. I wish more people did that, but you know. Well, I mean, but then also like this is <laughs> this is me giving marriage advice and not even. Oh stop! <laughs> oh god. Yeah. We'll but, talk about relationships next. We'll yeah, get there. We'll, we'll get there. Um, <laughs> but like every, but the thing is, it's like there, I think the main reason why a lot of like friendships, relationships in general, for a lot of people, just don't last is because like if you if you cannot have a conversation with somebody. Communication. Yeah, if you feel like, you know, your point of view can't be talked about or like they will not listen or you feel like you can't even bring it up and like, or what's like the point of bringing it up? Yeah. At that point in time, that relationship that should be a, Well, that should be a red flag. Not even that it's a red a flag. A huge red flag. Or just, you know, like that should tell you everything you need to know. Yeah. To some degree. You get what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. you should be able to talk to your partner. Yeah. Not everyone has the same love language and communicates the same, but at least knowing how mm -hmm. that person communicates. Mm -hmm. Knowing how to get through to them mm -hmm. in your own little way, you know? Yeah. Well, on that note, how's your love life going? <laughs> it's not a bad time. It's actually pretty good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, my, my, <laughs> you know. <laughs> my, I mean, I know. My adults. <laughs> okay, we'll give, how about we just use fake names? We can give fake names to people so that we were not exposing them. I've always, actually... I've always liked the, I've always liked the, like the name Nesquik. It's an African name. Don't come for me. Um, <laughs> Nes Nesquik. <laughs> like, Nesquik. Oh my God. No, but yeah, but Nesquik. He's like, um, <laughs> Sorry. I'm like I, I love that name. Okay, it's such a good name. It is. It's like it's very, it's, it's very ethnic, <laughs> yeah. which is funny because it is. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> but like <laughs> no we're we're good i think what it is is right now is that like, who's good i'm good i think he's good um can you tell him who he is oh he's my you don't have to go to detail he's my person my, yeah there you go my my very other half my very bearded person <laughs> <laughs> put it that way <laughs> yeah he's a very bearded person love him he's awesome funny guy funny guy um, he's been, he's, he was going through a lot, like, emotionally, mm -hmm. and so, um... Recently, or...? Just, well, well, yeah, oh, just, yeah, Re yeah. recent, from the beginning of the relationship to, like, now, okay. and, like, me not under, me, like, for me, it's, like, I have a thing where, <laughs> like, I refuse to leave, um, <laughs> Like, you know, okay, well, you gotta preface because then they're gonna like refuse to leave like a toxic situation, leave or leave just in general, like in all just forms, in, or just like just in all forms. Like, when I like if there's a problem, I want to just get I just want to sit down and talk about it and get it over with because I don't want it to do because, like, my big thing is like I hate going to bed angry because mm -hmm. I'm already pissed at the world, mm -hmm. um, I'm already salted, mm -hmm. lightly, <laughs> lightly coated, lightly coated. <laughs> so, like. If so, like being upset with like close relationships in my life it just causes me stress, and then, like, and then, and one of the things that I've had to learn is that it's like okay to like leave or to take a step back or like to stop giving energy to something <laughs> at, at one point in time, yeah, yeah, or certain amounts of energy, yeah. and then just letting things be the way they are, yeah. I will say, like, if I didn't leave, like, I briefly told you guys a little bit about it, I mentioned it, I think, in my last video. You know, I got out of a little bit of a, not a little bit, a lot of it, um, of a toxic relationship. Was it toxic or week. was it just, or was it a lifetime movie network? Exactly yeah, movie. I was living my Viola Davis meets Lifetime movie um, last year, and it was not good, <laughs> to say the least. Um, but I got out of that, so like that's an example of it took a while. And um, I myself didn't notice it in the relationship, like all the red flags and the things that were wrong until afterwards. When I had time to yeah. sit back and really think about it, I was like, oh crap, that probably wasn't the healthiest thing. For if me. it's not your alley, you know? it must be something else. Yeah, no, but like, I, mean, <laughs> no, I remember being in the relationship and talking to them about it, and like, you know, we talk on the phone and stuff, mm -hmm. and they would never give me concrete advice, but they were just like, no. If you want to leave, you can leave. And that was their way of telling me, like, you're in a toxic situation. But to me, I didn't pick up on that. So I was just like, la, 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 la. 
And so I wasn't like that anymore. And then that's how they ended up moving in with me and we became roommates. Yeah. Which worked oh, out. Oh, yeah, we're roommates, by the yeah. way. Yeah, okay. <laughs> we're roommates, by the way. Yeah, so they live with me, I live with them. Yeah. We're roommates. Um, we had a burn together, so yeah. Not us getting halfway through the video. Yeah, I was like, we didn't even explain. But no, but okay. no, because the thing is, it's like a lot of the people that we meet now, we're just like, oh yeah, like, you know, yeah. move together. Yeah, exactly. And while Sasha was away, I didn't meet anybody new. Well, that's we a lie, We don't need to They cheated that. on me. I didn't. This is why I got trusted. I cheated? <laughs> Not this white cheat. boy was here before you. Which white boy? <laughs> Which white boy? You can use a fake name, but I'll probably know who. Use the same letter. The doodle. Ew. <laughs> Ew, does that one count? That one don't count. Okay, guys, let me tell you about a situation. So this is, let me give a full disclaimer. So if, oh, no. so if my person that I am currently talking to is watching, ever watches this video, just know that this was, well, who knows? But just know that this is before I met this current person I'm talking to now, okay? Um, this was when I had a lapse of judgment after my breakup last year, so things were just very bad. I was still healing. Every single lap, damn. Yeah, I was, still, I was still healing, um, and I decided basically in short that it was okay for Sammy to set me up with one of their friends, and it was just the I worst didn't... decision. Look, worst I, decision. I, didn't, I didn't think it was going to get this <laughs> deep, and it did. And it was, was like, bad. No. It was bad. Not bad, but bad. Yeah, I, I didn't expect it to get this deep. I was like, oh, I thought. I didn't even want to explain it because they have <laughs> business. That's your friend. Mm -hmm. But anyway, <laughs> no, I, and then what happened was, yeah, but, you know, you, know, you, you, you tell the story. You tell okay, the story. so basically. <laughs> Exposing this person too much because I don't know what they want. You yeah. know, I, I still respect him. <laughs> I still respect him. Wow. <laughs> that sounded Stop close. Stop laughing. Okay. <laughs> I still respect him, okay, to some degree. So I'm not going to put all the business out there. But basically, in short, we started talking. Um, and things didn't go the way that I guess either one of us planned. And it just basically came down to me still healing, still wanting to talk and get to know each other. And then having to travel all of a sudden when we actually started to get to know each other, I think put a dent in that because I was gone for what, almost a year. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was gone for almost a year. I just got back. So I think that put a dent in it. And then he was coming out of, uh, again, kind of like a toxic situation as well. But he was still healing. Can't stand um, that ex bitch. Yeah. But I think the difference was I was actually getting help from mine and he wasn't. And with those factors came in other things where it's just miscommunication, lapse of judgment, lapse of judgment. <laughs> and the thing is, it's like, the thing is, it's like, I don't, I think they would be like good friends, you know, but, uh, you know. Here's the thing. I'm not saying we wouldn't be good friends, but I think for us to ever be friends in the future, he, this person would have to learn how to communicate better with me. And I'm not even talking about in an emotional let's be deep sense but a sense of just talk. And I think he hasn't mastered that with people yet. Like maybe with you, because you guys have known each other since you were babies. But like, you get what I'm saying? Like with anybody mm. else, he just doesn't know how to talk. And that's okay. Well, like, you yeah. know, that's fine. And, but and, and I don't think it's that like he doesn't know how to talk. I think what it is is that like he's, I think he feels like if he does say something, even if he does say it, it's just not gonna hit ears. And I don't think he's, he's, I don't think the outcome that he wants to happen. Well, no, he's, going, he's, I don't think he's comfortable yeah, in the outcome yeah. that he thinks he's going to happen. And here's the thing, I think and this is something that, like, I briefly would talk about with this person to some degree. Um, I feel like you can't go into something, and I had to learn this too because that's something I still struggle with. I can't ever go into something anticipating the person's reaction, assuming their reaction. You know what I'm saying? I had to kind of teach myself at least, like, hey. I may feel this way and want this outcome, but that doesn't mean I'm going to get it, you know? Yeah. That doesn't mean this person's going to receive the information like this. That doesn't mean the person's going to, you know? You can't this just, is yeah. very misleading. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the color. <laughs> yellow. <laughs> no, because look, look, look at this. Look at this. Like, it's supposed to be that color, but this is what I got. <laughs> like, this one right here. Story of my uh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> yeah. He lied to me. <laughs> so yeah, anyway, that was the, that was the situation, basically, in a nutshell. And, um, yeah, but I'm happy that happened before I went on the boat. Probably the best that happened the week before I went on the boat. That was good. Because now I met, you know, 
Mm-hmm. The best friend. Other best friend. It's only one best friend. I mean, a different form of a best friend. It's all fun and games <laughs> until it's all fun and games until you sitting at the wedding like, oh, listen, your you're best a, you're friend. Allowed, you're a little too far ahead. Let's, oh, how about that? Do you believe in marriage? What you mean? <laughs> what you, what you Who is she? The commitment? Who is that? I've never. The only thing I've committed to and do. Why are you stab it like that? Because we talking about commitment. Ah, okay. <laughs> the only thing I've committed to in my life is the, is the streets. Um, Ooh, how about that? Um, you, well, let's ask a question. Do you guys believe in therapy, especially my viewers oh, yeah. of color out there? How do you feel about therapy? Do you think it's a thing? You know, we talk about mental health. Yeah. So, with that being said, do you believe in therapy, Sandy? Um, I do believe in therapy. <laughs> the thing, whoa. <laughs> oh no, the, the, the blue was still in the, and I was like, oh no, we can't have that. I was like, what's going no, on? No, no, no. No, 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 no
Breaking Dawn. <laughs> Part three. <laughs> so yeah, that's what they were looking like. Um, but what I was saying before it had cut off was that you can follow us on social medias. I'll link them down below and in this video. And I was saying we might respond if you're not a stranger. And if you say, hey, saw you on YouTube, then I'll be like, okay, yeah, that'll be cool. So I'll link their social medias. I'll link mine. I'm not on there a lot. I'm but only on like, one Instagram. Page. I do, I, I do want to get my threads popping though. So, so hit them up. Hit me up on Same. my threads. So yeah, finish my glass. Um, Okay, I almost finished there. But now it's time for a nap. Especially since it cut me off. I, we didn't even finish the whole hour. It's time for a nap. Do you want to drink some water? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wait, no. I do. <laughs> do, wait, do you want me to? Because I have the chicken in the fridge. Do you want me to make more pasta salad? Or do you want me to make pasta? I like pasta salad. Pasta, pasta salad? Pasta salad. Okay. But on that note, guys, <laughs> on that note, <laughs> leave a comment down below if you would like to see more, especially since it cut off in this one. We, you didn't see everything, but like I said, it's probably for the best. Yeah, don't forget so, to like, share, and subscribe. Yeah, yeah, if you want more, let us know down below in the comments, and I will see you in the next video. Hi, guys. Bye. <laughs> 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 Not Agnes Cromwell. <laughs>